So if you are planning to visit Indonesia or Bali in the upcoming days in 2024, then you have came to the right video. Hello and welcome back to the channel and in this video I will be talking about how you can apply the e-visa for Indonesia and definitely for Bali on the easiest way possible and also go for the visa and arrival process. I will be talking about the uh, things that you need and also will be giving you some pro tips for your next trip to Bali. So do watch the full video and if you like the content don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel. Well there are two types of visa which you can take for on your next trip to Indonesia. One is the visa on arrival process which you can directly opt from the airport when you land in Indonesia or in Bali. And another one will be the e-visa process which you can apply from your home which I am going to be showing you in this particular video. But before talking about the e-visa process let me just tell you about the things that you need if you are going for the visa on arrival process. Well first of all you will definitely need a passport which should be valid for the upcoming six months and also should have be having two to three pages empty. Secondly you will be needing a return flight tickets and also some cash in the form of US dollar which will be uh, very good actually if you are taking it. Um, it's not mandatory that you need to have a certain amount of money but I will definitely request if you are staying there for five to six days or more then definitely do carry around 400 to 500 dollars minimum uh, and the next thing which you'll be needing is your covid certificates if you're having it it's good if you're not having it it's not mandatory by the way so these are the things that you will be needing for your e-visa process once you reach then Pasar airport in bali or any other airport in indonesia so for the visa on arrival process i have already told you and let me now tell you about the e-visa process on the screen in the computer come on so just open google and write down indonesia e-visa for india and this is the official website for e-visa for indonesia you can just see it here don't go for any other websites this one is actually the official do check before applying for anything or doing any payment methods so as you can see this is the official e-visa website for indonesia and from here just click here apply let it just open it will take a few seconds okay i am traveling on a passport from from here if you are traveling from india then definitely you will be searching for india just type here india sorry yeah and if you are going from any other country do write the name uh, from where you are actually having your passport valid from main purpose of my visit to indonesia is uh, from here it should be you have a lot of options like general family social investment business golden visa and all etc there are a lot of options actually professional employment secondary home and all so it should be general family and social if you are going for a tour to indonesia on a vacation and sub purpose of my visit uh, they have a lot of option like parent of Indonesian citizen if you have some uh, relatives there also medical treatment social family depend uh, dependent uh, the option which we are going to choose here is tourism family uh, visit and transit and I want to explore and choose a visa right over here there is only one option tourist visa on arrival and 30 days is the time I'm planning to stay. It should be not more than 30 days definitely. And here you just need to click details and apply. So once you're done with that, there's a pop-up information you can see. There are a lot of things that you should know before actually applying for the visa. First of all, the stay is up, valid up to 30 days and which is extendable for another 30 days if you're going for a visa extension and the cost is 500,000 rupiah which is almost around 2,600 Indian rupees if you are going for the visa on arrival then you will also have to pay around 33 to 35 US dollars which is kind of the same actually and there are a lot of rules like traveling in Indonesia and uh, participating in meetings and initiatives and all etc these are the rules and regulations you can just see you can actually you should actually follow these things actually just to maintain the culture heritage and also the rules and regulations which a country follows and you can just see there is written here that comply with 
laws and regulations have sufficient living expenses while in Indonesia definitely because uh, if you don't have money then how can you travel it's all the same so these are the things uh, document requirement passport valid for at least last six months which I've already told you and outbound tickets for Indonesia visa validity is 90 days so click apply right over here so once you are done with that then you can just see the details that you need actually you just need to upload your passport and the newest formal photo actually the photo size is also given here it's 400 into 600 pixels which you definitely need to know you just actually have to go to the studio and tell them like I need this uh, size actually for my photo and the maximum size is 2 MB with proper composition just like this they have given all the details here and once that is done you just need to upload the photo right over here just in the, this format itself and also your passport photo just like this I hope you can see it should not be like this it should be like this as it's given here you can just always check it out from your computer or your mobile for the photo you just need to upload it from here and click on next once you are done with that you just need to actually fill out the forms attachments and documents and after that you need to pay your money for the visa process well the things that you should remember here is that if you are going for the visa on arrival process then you should definitely be expecting a big queue at the airport because people who are coming for visa on arrival process not only from India but from other countries as well they will be joining you in a queue and there you will have to pay almost around 33 to 35 dollars and do remember it should be in US dollar not in Indonesian rupiah or any other currency it should be in dollars so this is one of the important things that you should know and I would recommend that it's better that you opt for the e-visa service here because it's very easy as I've already shown you in the video and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section I will definitely answer so that I clear out all your doubts so this process I will definitely uh, recommend you all because not only it's easy but it's hassle free once you are once you reach the Indonesia airport in Indonesia any any one of them actually you can just show them the e-visa and they will give you a stamp and you are free to go you don't need to wait for inside the queue actually and it always as far as I have actually heard it takes almost 40-50 minutes or even more sometimes for the visa on arrival process so definitely this process is much more flexible efficient and also here you can pay in Indian money from your credit and debit card but do remember one thing which is very important actually that once you are going for the payment option you have to keep your international usage on on your debit and credit card because this money is actually will be converted to uh, US dollar format so you have to carry or you have to have your international usage on so i hope this video was informative and if you have any questions related to anything you are always free to ask me in my comment section i will definitely try my level best to answer each and everyone's query so see you all in the next video till then bye bye take care